Hey guys, now me and me, I, he, me, my, me, mo, mo. Anyways, the co-worker and I went out shopping to Dollar Trees. He was looking for scary movies and I found some cars. So, let's take a look <laughs> at what I found. Now, you might have seen some of these, but they're new to me and I dig them. And a couple old Christmas presents. You ready? <laughs> let's dig in. It's a toy car case event at Johnny Roman's Supper Club. We're heading into the country, looking for those barns. Ragged and rusty, dirty and dusty. Let's get going. Who's with me? Oh, I'm telling you. We got, we went to a couple different stores, so I got like three different bags, Dad. See, three, one, two, three, and Big Lots was another one. So, <laughs> let's start with this yellow one. Let's see what we got in here. Dollar General was the place. And the... The cars were all a buck, so that was pretty good, pretty average for these times. So look at this. Look at this Jaguar. 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 It's not Jaguar. <laughs> but it's a 56 Jaguar. Look how beautiful that thing is. Such a classic car. And let me tell you, because this is a new one, Matchbox. Digging it. I'm opening it. I don't know, this is just so beautiful. Had some great details on it. I'm just digging it. So classic. I know Adam and Saul would probably totally dig this. Maybe the Fireman too. They like all the realistic cars. And then this, look at this, Lotus, 72 Lotus Europa, Europa Special, Europa, Europa, <laughs> Opa, German for granddad or something. Here's all your super secret series numbers and stuff. I forgot to show you that on the Jaguar. Here it is. So, again, I just thought these were kind of nice. Something different and kind of vintage looking. Look at that. Again, just a beautiful model. I've never seen one of these in person. It would be cool to roll up on a car show and actually see a real Lotus like this. I've seen other ones, but not this style. Not this age on it. Here's the bottom. 2008 Mattel. Lotus. Special. 1972. Look at that. Those are pretty sweet cars. And then, oh, this was the one I got at Christmas time. It was sitting on my desk. I thought I'd show it to you again. Look at this, a Pinocchio car. I think I'm going to open it up. Here's all the different ones, which is pretty wild. Elsa and Winnie the Pooh. Mike Wazowski. Jack Skeleton. That would be a cool one to find. M Maleficent. Minnie, Peter Pan, Belle, Sully, that would be a cool one to find too, Stitch, all the girls like Stitch, that is so cool, and then this Pinocchio one, so let's open her up and see what we got here, I'm hoping that, oh my gosh, it's like trying to break into Fort Knox here, oh my, oh my, here we go, there we go, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. 
It's in a case in a case. <laughs> Some days you just struggle with everything, don't you? Put that down there. I'm gonna put this case in the case back in the in place. Oh. Yeah, look at that. So this comes out <laughs> to expose the engine and then pushes back in. That is pretty funny. I wonder if any of the other ones have moving pieces and parts. If you guys know, let me know. Tell me in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. <laughs> yep, sometimes it works and sometimes it just doesn't. Oh, there we go. Kind of cool, Pinocchio. Do any of you guys collect these? That, that is pretty wild stuff. Oh, this one I saw, and again, just so sleek and beautiful. Custom Cadillac Fleetwood. That is nice. From the Rod Squad series. Again, if this is a treasure hunt, you know, you just open it. Look at this. Plastic fenders on it, but look at the green and the, the look at the metal flake on that. That is just gorgeous. Now, oh look at this. It's got part of the the seat covered up. I've got one of these for the Miata. I gotta get it put on though. That is I can't wait to get that on. Look how sleek and gorgeous that thing is. That is, this is for me very cool and classic. Not gonna focus because it's a beautiful chromed base. And it's super long too, which is really cool. Look at this one. I saw this Cadillac, a 41 Cadillac Series. 62 convertible coupe got it 41 Cadillac series 2062 convertible coupe buck Ola. and it says it's metal oh I'm telling you I think ever since I was a little kid these were a buck Look at this. Again, green being cool these days for me. Look at that paint job on that. About a mile thick and clear. And again, to me, this was just a gorgeous, classic vintage car. Kind of nostalgic these days. Kind of digging the old look and the old feels and stuff. Let's see what else we got in here. And then we go to super modern, wild, wild. Here's the salt shaker. The X racers. Now these again were just what I found at the Dollar Tree or Dollar General. Look how cool that is. That was pretty cool to me. And I know a lot of people have seen them. Look at those wheels. They're like little pizza cutters. Kind of nice. Salt shaker made in Malaysia. Hot wheels. What do you think of that? Oh, I dig it. Colors were kind of cool. Kind of see I'm in a mode, kind of green mode. And look at this one, Metal Machines, Zuru, Metal Machines, the Buffalo, Tatanka. Look at that, kind of cool. Somewhere I thought that was a name of what this actually was. Here's all the different ones you can get. Oh, here's their website.
Oh, there's your address in Hong Kong. You can write them and talk to them. Tell them what you think of their cars. Big lots, one big buck Ola from Shinola. Let's open this up. Now, I've, I've gotten some other metal machines from them, and it might be the same. I don't know if they've come out with new castings or what, but I just thought this was pretty cool and kind of a a tan and a green accents, green wheels. Pretty sweet. Goofy, I know. It's a kind of tuned out custom with side pipes. I love side pipes. Totally rocking. But I thought that was kind of cool. Liked it. Then I got this. Ready? Bum bum bum. The evil weevil. This guy's been around for a while, but I always dig these guys. And there isn't, not a treasure hunt or anything, because it, it would be totally cool. It is a street beast. And here's the street beast logo. Pretty cool, evil weevil. Look at this. <laughs> I always thought this was funny. Crack me up. Come on. Great decals on it. Tampo, I should say. I thought it was a reflection. I thought it was a big piece of DNA. Oh, look at that, though. I'm not used to getting new Hot Wheels, so it's kind of kind of fun. And here's our last bag of bagola from Shinola. Let's see what we got in here. We got four in this one. Now, I think that was from like a grocery store or something. So I saw this. Experimotors. Speed driver. Now, look, you've got the wrench on the back, but it shows, look, it shows a... Uh, uh, Phillips head screwdriver tip on there and it was in red and I don't remember it in red so I'm hoping something cool about this here's their little symbol and wouldn't it be cool if they actually had your own tip in there here's you can enter your own whatever oh let's see here it gives you directions oh there is in the bottom let's let's open this up and see what we got going here it shows that it it opens up oh here's a <laughs> you, I guess your tip is not included but you can put a tip here on the sides so it'll hold tips on the sides screwdriver tips and one in the middle and then you put it in here and and it can become a screwdriver oh let me go see if i got one hang on so here's a bag of bits all sorts of bits in there i think these are star heads or something sometimes working for a tool company it pays off they have like samples and stuff that they just dump so here's your bits star bit so magnetic in there now these are too big to fit on the side And maybe they're special, you know, for my company. Certain size. Let's see. Oh, but it fits in there. So you put that in there and it becomes a screwdriver. Pretty cool, pretty wild. 
too, man. Too bad that both sides are a little too too narrow to get get it in there. But you got all the little screws right in there. Kind of fun. This is a really cool one. A little tool. So kind of fun, goofy goobers. But I liked it in red. I've seen it in, in other colors. Or it was a different body than this with the wrench on the back. Then, Big Mama, man, she just loves pickup trucks. National Park, Forest Ranger, Park Patrol. Look at this. Countryside. It is a 47 Chevy AD 3100. Look at that. Again, just a cool pickup truck. She wants a bigger one, you know, with the Christmas tree painted red for decoration for the mantle. Trying to find just the right style and size for. She's got a couple little ones, but I think she wants a bigger one. Look at that Chevy 47 half ton. Look at that 2017. Again, kind of greenish theme. That day I was a green theme. Look at this. 69 BMW. 2002. Now let me tell you. One of the people in our neighborhood had one of these. Like before it was cool to have these. And I'm telling you. It was bright orange. Oh. So cool. And I remember him driving around in this thing, and it, I thought it was a very cool car. It was just so different back in the day. Look at that. This one's blue. Very nice. Look at that. You even got the little BMW sticker. You got the lights almost painted in. It's missing the top rim on them. is too bad top part of the red but you'd need a super steady hand and just a fiber single fiber paintbrush but this one is really nice 1969 got it 2018 made in Thailand I love that Again, for all those that like the, the realistic cars, that is, that is it. Then this one, which is totally cool. Oh, look at that. Custom 71 El Camino. Got it. There it is. And here's all your variations in this series. I would have gotten a Super Bird, I think, if I saw it. I didn't see it. But the Custom El Camino, that is probably one of the coolest ones. Look at this. Just love it. Mad Max style with these big super engines in the back. Totally wild. Oh, look at that. So what do you think? Which is your favorite? Now, again, like I said, this was just a small find on a day. We probably hit about six, eight stores, and these are the ones that I thought were the coolest. So hopefully you like them. You'll tell me about them. Tell me if you got different color combinations. Again, I love it when you guys, we start up a conversation about cars or you got something cool to show me. Let me know, man. 
Remember, like and subscribe and hang out here at the Supper Club. And we will... Should we race these? Ah, yeah, let's race them. I'll be right back. So the trick is, do we race the short track or the long track? I don't know. We got the long track or the short track? So Hot Wheel against Matchbox or Hot Wheel against Hot Wheel? Let's do those two. We'll try the long track. We got the sun coming in the window, which is pretty cool over the set. This guy crashed up here. I don't know what happened. And this guy crashed. <laughs> crashed. <laughs> I know, I know. I gotta glue this baby down sometime. Let me fix her. I'll be right back. We'll see if that worked. And if it doesn't, we'll race on the short track. See what happens. Let's race these two guys again. See what happens. fun oh he didn't make it up and over the loop-de-loo on the back side that is kind of crazy I'm gonna do the El Kabong on my head when I hit the light region oh. so <laughs> let's do the short track and see what happens I don't even know what happened. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, that guy is super fast for a matchbox. Whoa! <laughs> that is, he's pretty cool. So what's going on with this track? We'll straighten it out a little bit, see if anything happens on that. Whoo! <laughs> it's flying. Should we try them on the long track? Oh, yeah, that guy's he's pretty good. I'm digging that guy. Who knew? Let's do this uh, metal machines. Not bad. Try them on the short track. Oh, nice. So good. Try this long guy, custom Cadillac against the Beamer. <laughs> they both wiped out. Jaguar against the Lotus. We're gonna have a crash in that back corner because I didn't. Should I clear him out? We'll clear him out to give him a, a fighting chance here. Let's see what's going on. Back here, here he is. Oh, knocked over the whole town in one single little swoop. Now let's see what these guys do. Oh, 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 that Jaguar was good. This guy's stuck out under here. Oh, these are matchboxes doing pretty good. Oh, that is pretty cool. We'll race these two guys. I think that is it. Oh, the evil weevil. Look, man, he came flying out. This guy came busting out. Who knew they'd be so, so feisty? <laughs> that is wild i'm digging it i'm digging it hey guys thanks for coming into the supper club oh that's from our last video and i said adam told me that this is a rare color in gray <laughs> there's got to be another car back here here it is <laughs> i 
on, like holy smokes, the loaded. So you get to see a, this is a very rare color, he said. It's not even on the Hot Wheel site that he gets all his information from. So I'm lucky to have found that one in the dark gray. So here's all our cars we got, which is totally cool. And again, sometimes I think I find all the cars when they flip off the track, but I don't. Uh, thanks for coming in to a toy car case event at Johnny Roman Supper Club. Remember, this is just a place to relax. For all you old guys that just have a stressful life, it's time to remember your childhood and just kind of escape reality for a little bit and tag into those old memories of playing Hot Wheel cars when you're just a little wee tot. Thanks for coming in. Like and subscribe, and remember, enjoy your cars if you got them. I just put them in a display case somewhere. Don't tuck them away in a closet where no one's going to see them. Enjoy them. Oh, rock on, my friends. Rock on. Which one's your favorite? These are so cool. Okay, I'll talk at you on the flip-flop on the orange blacktop. I know you're a toy car case guy out there. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out. Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be.